Well, hello everyone, how are you today? Well, in this video, I would like to explain about adjective clauses for those who have attended my class but find it still confusing. You can rewatch the explanation by watching this video. Okay, I'll start sharing this, the, the PowerPoint. Okay. We have four, five pictures, Brad Pitt, Chris Evan, Christian Bale, Barack Obama, and Leonardo DiCaprio, and I said to you, I met the man in the hospital. In the context of the five pictures, it will be confusing. We will not be able to identify who the actual, actually the man is. Therefore, in order to make it um, in the one frame, in the same frame between the uh, speaker A and the counterparts, we need to be able to give um, specific characteristics so that it will eliminate all the other possibilities that it will remain uh, one, it will leave one last option so that the conversation will uh, be in the one frame. By saying I made the man in this hospital is not enough to give identification to the person we're talking about. Therefore, when I say I met the man who was the president of the United States in the hospital, we will be able to eliminate the other four options and we will pick Mr. Barack Obama because we know that Barack Obama is the president of the United States, was the president of the United States among all the other options here. In order to have a good communication or having, having an effective communication, we will be uh, required to have a good understanding about English grammar. And in this case, we will learn about how to give identification by using give additional information to be able to make, make people uh, easily understood, understand about the uh, thing or person being uh, explained, being discussed. Okay, the topic being discussed here is general English, the subject, and the topic is objective plus. It is December 13, 2023. The thing that you have to pay attention in this topic is start with the objectives, the introduction, the concept, the type, the conclusion, and question and association. After after learning this topic, you are expected to be able to first identify adjective clauses existed within sentences, and the second one arrange sentences containing adjective clauses correctly. Therefore, by the end of this meeting, you need to be able to first identify adjective clauses existed within the sentence, and after that, arrange sentences containing adjective clause correctly. See this example. We have Hermione and Luna. Hermione says, I saw Natalie in the other day, and then Luna replies, Natalie, the girl who plays the piano, in this case, uh, Luna, in the second speaker, is not sure whether or whether uh, she knows who Natalie is. Therefore, she tries to confirm by giving additional information to make sure that the Natalie, the person being discussed here, is uh, that person who can play the piano. And then after that, the first speaker replied by saying, no, that's Natasha. Natalie is, Natalie is the student who dropped out of college, the one who never did any studying. She's working in Tufferton's now, the shop that sells very expensive clothes. The first speaker, Hermione, confirms that Natalie is not the girl who plays the piano. Instead, it is the student who dropped off of college, the one who never did studying. It, she gives um, additional information so that the communication will run well. And Natalie, the person being discussed in the conversation, can be understood, can be identified by both of the speakers. The concept then, adjective clauses are types of subordinate clauses that act as adjective. The whole class does the job as adjective. You need to remember that adjectives modify nouns and pronouns. Clauses are a group of words that includes a subject and a verb to form a simple sentence or not, only part of a sentence. Subordinate clauses cannot stand alone. One more thing, when you want to formulate an adjective clause, you need to write down relative pronoun. 
what is plastic pronoun, we will explain it later. But first of all, before, before going further, you need to be able, you need to have the capacity to identify the first subject of the sentence, the object of the sentence, the sentence to identify if there is a possessive adjective in the sentence. Remember that when you talk about um, subject or object, it can be in the form of persons and things. The thing that we discuss here are uh, adjective clauses that can be used to <laughs> explain or modify persons or things. But you need first, first of all, you need to be able to uh, identify the object, the subject, and the possessive adjective if there is any of it. Okay, let's start with this one. The first rule, if you want to give uh, explanation about, uh, elaboration about the uh, uh, a person or a subject or an object in this case, you need to give additional information that is related to that thing or that person. Therefore, for example, we have two sentences just like this. A man robbed me yesterday. The police had <laughs> arrested the man. A man here. Man. The man in a man in the first sentence. A man in this first sentence here is the same person that had been arrested by the police. It means that we can use the second sentence to give additional information, to give more information to the first sentence. <laughs> when I say a man robbed me yesterday, by using the sentence, we can give additional information to give us more specific information about this uh, person. If we want to combine these two sentences into one by using adjective clauses, it can be into this. The police had arrested the man who or that robbed me yesterday. Okay, let's try to analyze the sentences. The sentence. Let's try to analyze the sentence. Okay, we have <coughs> two sentences. The first sentence. This is the same person as this, right? A man here is the same person as the man in the second sentence. In the first sentence, a man wrote me yesterday. The man being explained here is being exposed here is the man, the exactly same person with the man in the second sentence. Therefore, you have to be able first, I told you before, you need to be able to find the subject and the object. The first rule to combine these two sentences into one sentence is to make sure that there should be um, the same component of the two sentences. In this case, it can be subject, it can be object. It should be the same person. It can be. It should be the. It can be the same things. Let's start with this. A man robbed me yesterday. The police had arrested the man. When we want, we talk about the subject. Objective losses. <coughs> you sing. To, 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 to use to explain about subject, we use a relative pronoun who or that. This is called a relative pronoun. This is a these are the types of pronoun that can be used to replace the, the double uh, pers the double persons or things that want to be combined. Therefore, if you want to combine two sentences into one that contains uh, the same uh, same uh, the same persons or things, you need to be able to identify the sim similar the similar components, and then you need to omit one of them. And if you want to omit the subject here, here is the subject, right? You can you can you can replace a man here with who or whom or, or that. Thank you for pardon. You can replace a man here with who or that. And then after that, to combine these two sentences, remember the adjective clause, this is called as adjective clause. The adjective clause should be written right after the, the component being discussed or being, ex, ex, uh, being elaborated, being modified. In this case, the man here is the things or the persons being explained 
Therefore, the adjective clauses here should be written right after the word the man. And remember that a man here are, is replaced with who or that. Therefore, if we want to combine these two sentences, it can be this one. The police had arrested the man who or that robbed me yesterday. Once again, the police that arrested a man is the second sentence, which is complete sentence. And then the second one, sentence one, that's modified. That was modified, changing a man into who or that. This clauses explains or modify the man. Get your point? And then after that, let's move on. After that, we'll move on to object. Here. Yeah. The first sentence, we replace the, a man as a subject with relative pronoun, but we can also replace the object of the sentence by using relative pronoun whom or that. For example, in this sentence, the second sentence here, the man is an object. Let's try to omit this and replace it with whom or that, and by replacing means like it doesn't have, it doesn't need to be in the end of the sentence, but it has to be the beginning of the sentence. So it should be here, like this. And this adjective clauses should be written right after the noun or pronoun being elaborated or being modified. In this case, whom or that police had arrested is the man in the first sentence. So here, we should write down the adjective clauses here. So a man whom the police had arrested robbed me yesterday. <coughs> okay. Clear? Let's move on. Then we talk about possessive adjective. Not only subject and object if a sentence contain a possessive adjective and the other sentence has the same component, uh, instrument, a component of element of uh, the possessive adjective, we can combine these two sentences by uh, using whose as the relative pronoun. So we replace this with whose. And whose research was granted explains a woman here. So we need to write down this subjective clause here. So I spoke with a woman whose research was granted. Okay. Great. Let's move on. If we are if you have understood the, the concept of the previous part, it will be easier for you to understand this part. Now talk, we will talk about things. Previously, we talked about persons. Now we talk about things. Subject and object. If you want to replace the object of the subject of the sentence to combine it with other sentence by using adjective clause, in this case, we do not need to differentiate whether the things is a subject or an object to choose relative pronoun, to choose the relative, the correct the proper relative pronoun, because the relative pronoun being used to replace the subject and the object in terms of things in this in this case is like the the same. It can be used. It can we can use which or we can use that to replace the subject or the object when we talk about things. See in this example. <coughs> Okay, the car here is a thing and it's a subject. The car here is a thing and it is an object. Remember that we can we can choose to replace this 
or to replace this. If we want to replace this, we can use which or that. If we want to replace this, we can use which or that. Right? So it's just the same. So we do not need to, to differentiate whether it is a subject or an object or an object to uh, select the correct or proper relative pronoun. But remember that if you want to combine this, you have to make sure that you put the adjective clause right after the noun being uh, elaborated or the noun being modified. See this example. The car looks expensive. If you want to make this into a relative pronoun, uh, uh, adjective clause, which he procures in London, we need to write it down after the word the car. And also, when we want to omit, uh, replace this which or, with which or that, which looks expensive so that it will become adjective clauses, we have to put this after the word the car here. So let's see this, <coughs> how, how it forms, how it's formed. Okay. He purchased the car which looks so expensive in London. The car which he purchased in London looks so expensive. It also happens when you want to use possessive adjectives in uh, things. Just use whose to replace the possessive adjective and write down the, the adjective clause right after the noun being elaborated or being modified. Okay. A conclusion, to wrap up, the rules of uh, applied to write an adjective clause are the first. It contains subject and verb because it is a class. And after that, after that, it begins with a relative pronoun. And it is written after the noun or pronoun which is modified. In terms of relative pronoun, you have who, whom, that, whose, and which. According to the distributions of the possibility of the using of the relative pronoun based on the type of the nouns, and also the position of the noun in the sentence, we can use like this. Subject can be, uh, we can replace a subject of a person using who or that, object of a person, whom or that, possessive adjective for whose, and subject and object both for uh, subject and object for the things, we can use that and which. And for a possessive, we can use possessive objective, we can use um, whose. And let's start, let's draw conclusions by writing down a formula of the, um, what is it? Adjective clauses. See this example. We have two sentences. Let's say this is sentence one. This is sentence two. We have A for A, B, C for B, A. So we have the same component here. It is a subject, it is an object. Okay, so if we want to combine this by replacing this with the uh, relative pronoun, which is uh, written here because it is an object, the relative pronoun here. So we have to write down this adjective clauses into in uh, after in the word A, just like this. A, this one. Is the adjective clause is the rest of the sentence one. And this what happens the, <laughs> the opposite. Okay. <laughs> we want to replace this with relative pronoun. We need to erase, write down the adjective clause here after here. So we start with C, B, F, of A, <laughs> B, and A. This is sentence two, followed by the adjective clause. Okay, that's the conclusion. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> if you want to have a practice, you can scan this code. You will be linked to a quizzes, and <laughs> you can text me to give you uh, the code <laughs> to join the quiz. <laughs> For the references, you can uh, go to bit.ly slash engbnb one ebook to find to download the ebooks here. And also to go to p.ly slash check the class assessment to have a practice. OK, everybody, work until you don't have to introduce yourself. Leonardo DiCaprio, just work hard. And do not stop until you don't have to introduce yourself. <laughs> I think that's it for this meeting. <laughs>
<laughs> if you have something to ask, just write on the comment section or just reach me directly. <laughs> Thank you.